football takes a brief break at the World Cup today now that the last 16 have been decided, but the surprise lineup still has people talking, or should I say crying? There are no African sides in the knockout phase. That's for the first time in three decades. Senegal were the continent's last hope, but they failed to progress after losing 1-0 to Colombia. They finished on the same number of points as group rivals Japan. So in the end, FIFA's fair, uh, fair play rules over fouls and good behaviour proved decisive. Well, our sports correspondent Andy Rabini joins me now in the studio to talk about that. Uh, Andy, was this a, a really cruel disappointment, a, a cruel knockout for, uh, or elimination rather, it for was those cruel. Africans? It was, it was cruel, it was heartbreaking. Uh, both teams were tied uh, in second place. Uh, both had four points, same goal difference, but um, basically Senegal had six, conceded six yellow cards throughout the tournament and Japan four, which meant that Japan went through. Um, but sometimes I think it takes for us to see a rule like really happen and being implemented in real life for us to assess it and maybe change it. For example, in 1968, Italy played against uh, the Soviet Union and uh, the game was decided uh, thanks to a coin toss. And two years later, in 1970, well then the penalty shootouts were installed. So maybe I'm not 100% sure that this rule will stand the test of time. Yeah, so those are those, those fair play rules coming into, into effect, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what can we look forward to the knockout phase now? Got some great games coming up. You've got uh, Uruguay against Portugal. So that's Luis Suarez, uh, the Barcelona striker, against um, Real Madrid's top goal scorer, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo is 33. This, is, this could be his uh, final, um, his last World Cup, and he definitely has a point to prove. Um, so I think this will be a, a great one to watch. You have uh, France-Argentina. I spoke to my French colleagues the other day about uh, this game. They're very worried. And this uh, state of nervousness, it has a name. It's uh, Lionel Messi, little wizard, genius. He just can create uh, havoc at any, any point in the game. So I think this will be a great one to watch. I've watched Argentina play, though, and I can see definitely gaps between lines. And I think uh, Didier Deschamps likes, likes a counter-attack. So I think they might exploit these uh, mistakes. Got some great games. Brazil against Mexico, Belgium against Japan, Spain against Russia, Croatia against Denmark. If I had to, put, if I had to ask you to put your, your money on one, go on. Oh, it's the final one. Colombia against England. It's England. It's coming home this year.